Hey everybody! So in this video, we are going to study the external genitalia of a female. And here is the diagram on the screen. We can see that the external genitalia of female or a woman is called as vulva. It is called as vulva which actually consists of this region called as mons pubis. Then we have labia majora which is this region. Then labia minora. Here we have hymen and this is clitoris. So mons pubis, labia majora, labia minora, hymen and clitoris they are included in external genitalia which is called as vulva. Let's see each and every portion of external genitalia of a woman and see how it functions. First of all, the very first what we see is this region that is called as mons pubis or vinaris that we can see over screen. It's called mons pubis or vinaris. It's actually a cushion of fatty tissues which is covered by skin and pubic hairs that we have seen and we can see this through a diagram as well. The next thing that we have over here is a fold of skin which is called as purpus of clitoris. So this is a fold of skin we can also call it as clitoris hood which is present over clitoris. So this is called the purpus of clitoris which is considered homologous to penis. So this purpus of clitoris is considered homologous to penis. Why? Because both penis and clitoris is supported by this erectile tissue called as corpora cavernosa. Corpora, corpora cavernosa is the erectile tissues that supports both penis and clitoris. The third one that we are having this P-shaped a small finger like structure over here this one it is actually called as clitoris. This clitoris is present above urethral opening. See this is urethra from where a woman can pass its urine. So, here we can see a structure, a P-like structure called as clitoris, right? And now, we will see that this clitoris is actually below this, we can see urethral opening, right? This is urethra, which is having urethral opening. Okay, now next that we can see over here is the skin, is this portion, which is called as a single part is called as labia major and since it's present in pair we, we can also call it as labia majora. So labia majora is actually considered homologous to scrotum because scrotum is having testes over here. This labia majora is somewhat covering the basically a vagina so that's why it is considered homologous to scrotum. Remember this labia majora is a freshly fold skin which is surrounding the vaginal opening. The next that we can see this portion, this portion of the vulva which is called as labium minor and it's present in pair so we can also call this at, call it as labia minora. It is a form or a kind of lips which is formed under labia majora. And remember these labia minora gets fused posteriorly. So it gets fused posteriorly. Here this labia minora gets fused posteriorly and this is called as forchet. Yes, this is called as forchet. So this portion where the labia minora has fused posteriorly is called as forchet. Next what we are having is this opening, a small opening that this vaginal orifice or vagina which is over here is having ruptured hymen. And remember hymen is a membranous diaphragm or is a membranous uh, sheath, a membranous covering that is uh, that is absolutely not a reliable indicator of virginity. It can be broken by certain jolts such as by using tampons, being active in sports like horse riding, right and cycling. So this can happen. So this is vagina and we can see there are small openings just besides in pair around vagina which is called as Bartholin gland that actually helps in lubrication and reduces the acidity of urine, right? So it actually neutralizes or help in neutralizing the uh, acidity of urine and helps in lubrication, right? So this is uh, vagina and Bartholin's gland. Now the portion between this urethra and vagina over here is called as vestibule. Remember this portion is called as vestibule which is bound by the skin folds of both labia minora and labia majora. So labia minora, labia majora cover both the vestibule. 
Now, the very last that we are having is this anus. This is anus and the region between forehead and anus is called as perineum, right? This is called as perineum. So, this is all about the external genitalia or vulva of female reproductive system. I hope this is very much informative to you and if it is, then please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. Thank you so much.